Okay, now I'm up to my next step, which is putting on the um, the blush color, the warm blush, and I added it on all around the head to give her a nice natural color. And I'm going to add it on the limbs. I mixed it here with a little bit of paint thinner, and I just dab it on with my little cosmetic wedge. You could use a sea sponge. You could use a lot of different applications. You put it on with a brush and then pounce it with a cosmetic wedge. And you could still see the veins. And now I'm going to do the limbs. Take each limb and I'll dab all over the legs. Take a little more here. And that's how we cover up the legs. This is my first time doing this, so it may be different than you've seen on other videos. I'm just going to move along quickly, dab it a little, get it on the little feet. And you could use the brush to get in between little creases, spots that you can't reach with the little cosmetic wedge. Dab it on and then pounce it with the cosmetic wedge. Give the baby a more realistic color. And then I will do the next leg over here. And then I'll continue with the arms. Dab some color on. So you could either dab it on like this or use the cosmetic wedge. And you can see the color going on nicely. It's a lot of fun. I love doing this. I don't know if you could see the little veins in our foot. I'm going to just use the cosmetic wedge to pounce it all in to give it a textured look. And after you're done with all the limbs and the head, then you'll go on to the lip and the blush and the nail color, which is also a reddish brownish color. She looks covered. Let's see. She'll have a shine to it. So you'll know that the paint is on there. Okay. Can you see that? A little foot. And we'll put it back on the little rack. Now I'll do the little hands and the arms. Put some of that on there and blot it in with the cosmetic wedge. Like I said, you could use a sea sponge if you want. My sea sponge that I have here is kind of big. I need to get a smaller textured one. See, you can see it here. But I think I like my cosmetic wedge better because that one like I said is kind of big. You need a small soft textured one. And then the little arm is covered. Get a little more color here and there. Watch it. And do the next one. Put it on. 
It really is amazing the way the colors are building up and it gives it dimension and depth. Like I said, the next step we'll be doing the little creases and lips and so on. But you got to do each step and build the color up on the skin of the doll. And so far, so good. Her little hands. Okay. And here's a little color right here. Dab it. And I'm going to move on to the next step.